Mining is undoubtedly a challenging endeavor, and Tony has instilled a strong work ethic in his children, encouraging them to contribute to the family business. Every season, the Beats face the difficulties of earning a living in the Yukon. However, this year, viewers have expressed discontent with Tony's son, Kevin. Gold Rush enthusiasts have witnessed Tony and his family grapple with equipment mishaps and intense dynamics throughout the years. In season 14, Tony's son took a step back from the operation, leaving his sister in charge on the Discovery Channel show. Despite Tony's statement that they would have to make it work, without Kevin, the transition was not seamless. Fans expressed disappointment with Kevin's complaints. While some Gold Rush enthusiasts support Kevin's desire to branch out and operate his own wash plant, others quickly criticize him for his perceived complaining in this season. A viewer opined that Kevin seems to have forgotten the source of money, expressing, as I watched the latest episode, there were numerous complaints from Kevin, and it appears he has lost sight of where dinner and money originate. It's disheartening to see him act as if his family's endeavors are merely an easy game. Another individual remarked, I wish my father would allow me to have a multi-million dollar business that requires only six months of work each year. Since Kevin Beats made his return and subsequent departure, two distinct opinions have emerged among fans. One faction believes that Tony Beats assured his children that he would eventually pass the reins to them, but is unwilling to let them implement their preferred methods. The other group contends that Tony achieved wealth through his specific business approach, and Kevin is disregarding that fact. The challenge arose when Monica struggled to establish a smooth rapport with Tony Beats in her new role. Consequently, Tony's earnings declined, and Parker Schnabel distanced himself from Tony in terms of the total gold mined. Even when Tony needed assistance, Parker declined to lend a hand. The situation worsened when Monica had a breakdown following Tony's outburst because she didn't meet his expectations. Amidst these challenges, news broke that Kevin Beats was returning. Fans hoped his return would help resolve the issues. However, Kevin's initial absence at the beginning of the season strained their relationship. Although Kevin eventually returned, he departed just as swiftly upon realizing his father continued to exert strict control. This tumultuous sequence of events further strained the dynamics within the Beats family and their mining operation. For the past decade, Kevin has been a prominent figure on Gold Rush, working alongside his father, Tony, and mother, Minnie. He, along with his siblings, plays a significant role in the Beats mining operation, having been part of Gold Rush since 2013. Throughout the last 10 years, the Beats family has undergone various changes, such as Kevin's sister, Monica, starting her own family, and Kevin taking some time away from the mine to live with his partner, Faith Tang. While some Gold Rush miners are abandoning their previous careers to seek fortune in mining, Others belong to mining families with a long history of running operations for generations. Parker Schnabel, for instance, took charge of his grandfather's big nugget mine site at the age of 16 and has since become a millionaire with a net worth comparable to his co-stars. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. At the same time that the familiar roar of heavy machinery reverberated throughout the woods, the sun was hanging low in the Alaskan sky, casting a golden glow over the harsh terrain. The 14th season of the popular reality series Gold Rush, which airs on the Discovery Channel, had captivated viewers all over the world with its high-stakes drama, passionate rivalries, and unrelenting search of the elusive yellow metal. In spite of this, a new source of tension developed in the midst of the clamor of roaring excavators and the clinking of shovels, and it left fans with a bone to pick, the mysterious Kevin Beats. Throughout the course of the episode, Kevin, who is the son of the famed miner Tummy Beats, had always been a bit of a mystery. 
in stark contrast to the rowdy characters that dominated the Klondike gold fields, he was known for his calm attitude and analytical approach to mining. He was known for his meticulous approach to mining. Kevin, on the other hand, moved into a more important role within the Beats group during the 14th season, which promised to reveal a different side of him. Fans had no idea that this change would spark a raging storm of feelings and complaints between them and the show. At the beginning of the season, there were great expectations because the Beats crew wanted to begin construction on a new claim that was cloaked in mystery and was supposed to be rich with gold resources before the season even began. Kevin found himself in the spotlight in a way that he had never been before because he was now responsible for monitoring the operations. Because they were accustomed to the larger-than-life characters of the Klondike, fans were eager to see if Kevin could live up to the legacy that the Beats had established. During the course of the first episodes, it became abundantly evident that Kevin was not your usual reality television sensation. His measured comments and calm manner were in stark contrast to the show's tendency towards sensationalism which was frequent throughout the presentation. It appeared as though Kevin was entirely concerned with the mining operation, in contrast to the other miners who were enjoying the drama. This deviation from the norm did not sit well with some of the fans, and they resorted to social media to voice their dissatisfaction with the situation. The seeming lack of charisma that Kevin possesses was a complaint that was leveled repeatedly. It was difficult for viewers to connect with the quiet beats hair because they were accustomed to the animated acts of his father and other miners. Comments such as, Kevin is as exciting as watching paint dry and bring back the drama. Kevin is putting us to sleep were shared on various social media platforms during the course of the conversation. In spite of the criticism, Kevin did not appear to be affected. Within the context of a rare interview, he elaborated, I'm not here to put on a show. I'm here to mine gold. Those who are looking for a dramatic experience can watch a soap opera. Our mission is to complete the task at hand. By the time the Beats crew found unexpected problems on the new claim, the animosity that had been building up between Kevin and the fans reached its highest point. Resilience was put to the test by a number of challenges, including equipment failures, logistical difficulties, and severe weather conditions. Despite the fact that seasoned fans were prepared for such losses, the fact that Kevin did not exhibit any theatrical reactions left them wanting more. One person photoshopped Kevin's face onto a statue and captioned it, The Kevin Beats Memorial for Expressionless Mining. This was just one example of the epidemic of memes that have sprung up on social media to poke fun at Kevin's refusal to show emotion. Kevin was performing a one-man show with the subtitle, Kevin's One Man Show, The Art of Zen Mining. Another meme had a subdued audience with Kevin on stage. Over the course of the season, the tension among fans moved from being characterized by humorous banter to one of genuine anxiety. They were skeptical about Kevin's ability to steer the Beats team through difficult times and questioned his capabilities. There were even many who worried that the miner, who was known for his modest demeanor, would be clueless and unprepared for the difficulties that come with leading a significant mining operation. It was when the crew was confronted with a crucial decision that they reached a turning point. They had to decide whether to give up on the claim that was suffering or to invest more time and money in the hope of finding gold. Fans were left feeling upset since Kevin took a calm approach, in contrast to other miners who may have used the situation for maximum drama. The various social media sites were inundated with comments that demanded more feeling, more passion, and more of the gold rush that people had come to like. Kevin made a rare post on social media in which he addressed his critics in reaction to the growing criticism which he was receiving. I am aware that there are certain fans who express a desire for more excitement and drama. However, mining is a serious business that must be taken seriously at all times. The fact that we are out here putting everything on the line in order to locate gold 
is not something I am willing to sacrifice in terms of safety and efficiency for the sake of acting. Fans, on the other hand, are still not convinced. The level of dissatisfaction reached a point where a petition was published on the internet requesting that Kevin be removed from the show permanently. The petition, which was titled Bring Back the Drama, Save Gold Rush, received thousands of signatures from dissatisfied viewers who believed that the series had lost its edge. When Discovery Channel was confronted with the unanticipated backlash, they found themselves in a dangerous situation. The approach that Kevin took, on the one hand, indicated a commitment to professionalism and safety, which are characteristics that are essential to the mining business. On the other side, the network had built its success on the entertainment value of Gold Rush, and the fans were demanding that the show went back to where it had originated. In an unexpected turn of events, Tony Beats, the father of the Beats family and a seasoned miner with a reputation for being harsh, came out to address the matter. Tony Beats took the initiative to address the controversy. Tony supported his son Kevin's leadership with the following statement, Kevin may not be the loudest or the most theatrical, but he knows how to get the job done. Tony made this statement in an interview that was frank. Hard effort, strategy, and perseverance are all essential components of mining. The fans might be watching the wrong show if they are unable to express their appreciation for that. A polarized reaction was brought about among the fanbase as a result of Tony Beats's passionate defense. Although there were others who expressed their support for the Beats family, there were also those who criticized Tony of being out of touch with the entertainment expectations of the public. At a time when the network was torn between the principles of conventional mining and the requirements of reality television, it was confronted with a conundrum that would determine the course of Gold Rush. An unsolved disagreement between Kevin Beats and the fans persisted throughout the entirety of season 14, which was rapidly approaching its conclusion. The Beats crew resumed their search for gold with unwavering tenacity, but the audience was split between the yearning for raw realism and the thirst for dramatic spectacle. The audience was torn between the two desires. The conflict that occurred between Kevin Beats and the fans became a microcosm of the ongoing conflict between pragmatism and entertainment in the universe of Gold Rush, which revolved around the search of gold as a metaphor for the difficulties that people face in their lives. Only time would tell whether the Beats crew would strike it rich and whether the fans would find peace in the golden dreams of reality television. As the dust fell over the Klondike, only time would tell.